Well, hey, everybody, good to be with you today. We're continuing our a walk through the New Testament, reading five chapters a week. Hope you're keeping up with that. And if you've gotten behind, don't try to catch up. Just pick up with where we are. Today, we're in Romans chapter 10. So grab your Bible and your ink pen and journal. And let's, let's, uh, let's just study together and let God speak to our hearts. Romans chapter 10. The verse that um, I want to speak about is, is verse 4. So if you have your Bible, you can read with me. Romans chapter 10, verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Let's read that again. I want you to look really carefully at each word. For Christ, Jesus Christ, is the end of the law, the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. What does that mean? He's saying that when you believe, everyone who believes in Jesus Christ, that means that trying to earn salvation by keeping the law is over. That, that when you say, I'm placing my faith in Jesus, and I'm, I'm trusting Him, I believe in Him, then you are no longer trying to obtain righteousness, be right with God by obeying the law, by doing good, by following rules. You see, there's basically two approaches people can take to salvation. One is faith in Jesus Christ. The other is by obeying the law, doing good. People can try, try to obtain righteousness, being okay with God, right standing with God, holiness, purity, by either faith in Jesus, believing in Jesus, commitment to Jesus, or by obeying the law. The point Paul makes here is once you make the decision to commit your life to Jesus, Theologically and practically, you're no longer trying to earn righteousness or salvation because you're keeping the law. You're doing good. He said he, that puts an end to that. And then he goes on in verse 5 to say, For Moses writes, and he's referring to the Old Testament, he said, Moses writes that the man who practices the righteousness which is based on the law, so somebody who's trying to earn salvation by obeying the law, um, shall live by that righteousness. He's quoting Leviticus 18.5 in the Old Testament. So the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 5. And, and remember, when you're going from language to language, you, you know, the, the, the sentence structure, and all, it's not always identical, so don't let that bother you any. But in Leviticus 18.5, God is, God is speaking, and he says, So you shall keep my statutes and my judgments, by which a man may live if he does them by which a man may live if he does them. The idea is this, that if you're going to earn righteousness or salvation by obeying the law, by doing right, doing good, following rules, then you have to actually do it. You can't do it part way, you have to do it all the way. In other words, if you're going to earn righteousness by obeying the law, you have to do it perfectly. Because if you come up short one time in obeying the law, Come up short one time in doing good, you're no longer righteous. You have become unrighteous. And so what Paul teaches in the book of Romans, and we've seen that in earlier chapters, is that the reason obeying the law doesn't work when it comes to being righteous or salvation is because of our human weakness. We live in a sinful body. We have a sinful nature. We're weak, which means we never completely obey it. No matter how much we try, how hard we try, how good we do, we always come up short, don't we? I know I do. I imagine you do as well. There's not a one of us who obeys the law completely. Paul says that over and over in here. And that's the reason trying to obtain righteousness and salvation by obeying the law doesn't work. Our weakness doesn't allow it to work. We are not capable of perfection because we have a sinful nature. And that's why we need Jesus Christ. He, he knew that. That's why he came and died on the cross for, for us, to make atonement for our sin. And so Paul's making very clear that salvation is not by faith. Now, it, salvation, rather, is by faith in Jesus. It's not by obeying the law. If you think it's by obeying the law, then you have to do it. And you have to do it perfectly. Well, our human weakness means we all fail at that. So anybody who's trying to get to heaven by being good, anybody who's trying to get to heaven by obeying the law is not going to make it because they won't obey it perfectly. Faith in Jesus is the only way. That's the reason <clears throat> later in this same chapter, these well-known verses, verses 9 and 10, where he says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 
For would the heart a person believes resulting in righteousness. Look at that. For would the heart a person believes resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses resulting in salvation. There it is, as plain as it can be. Salvation, righteousness comes by faith in Jesus. A faith that we believe and a faith that we acknowledge, that we confess. Um, and you'll remember earlier in Romans, Paul made the point that all of us have sinned, therefore we're not righteous. All of us have disobeyed the law because of our weakness, therefore we're not righteous. Jesus is our only hope. Um, and that's the main thing I wanted to uh, point out to you today. Uh, and so, as a follower of Christ, stop saying it's like we said the other day, faith plus is faith, and then I do all this good stuff. No, I do the good stuff because I am right with God. I don't do the good stuff to be right with God. My relationship with Jesus makes me right. And then I do good because I, I wouldn't want to do anything else if I really know Jesus, and neither would you. Okay, Do you know what trying to earn salvation or righteousness by the law does? What legalism does? You know, a legalistic attitude. You know what it does? It doesn't save anybody. It doesn't make anyone righteous or more holy. What it does is it leads to pride. It leads to uh, self-deception, thinking, ah, oh, you're a better Christian than those other people. <laughs> you know, because failing to see your own blind spots and your own sin. And uh, it leads to death. Paul makes that clear in Romans. So it's Jesus, and because you love him, you do what is right. God bless you, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.